Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we are going through Cambridge IGCSE uh, paper 2 1 from uh, May June 2024 series, right? Uh, so let's start the first question that we have here. You can see a diagram. The diagram shows two sides of a parallelogram A, B, C, D. Find the coordinates of point D. So we have three points here 1, A, B, and C. We are looking for the uh, fourth quad, uh, coordinate so if you see from b to c there are one two three four units this way four and then moving two units up right so one and two so same we will do from a this is one two three and four then two units up so the point is going to be here so this is going to be your d point which is if you go this way uh, y is seven and x is negative three so the coordinate is negative 3 and 7, right? Now number 2, uh, Gita has a box of, uh, Gita has a box of toys. She picks at random uh, from the, she picks a toy at random from the box. The probability that she picks wooden toy is 0 0.6. Work out the probability she does not pick a wooden toy. So does not pick a wooden toy that's going to be 1 minus 0 0.6 that is uh, because the total probability of picking up the toy and not picking is going to be 1 and this is going to be 1 minus 0 0.6 which is 0 0.4 so 0 0.4 is the answer. Now part B a box contains three types of toys wooden plastic and metal we are given this over here in the table complete the table. Now if you try to see here. Uh, we have the probability of plastic and number of toys of plastic and metal they are same so that means their probability also should be same now 0 0.6 was the probability of the wooden toy and of the not wooden toy is 0 0.4 right this total probability as they are equal so this will be divided equally so that means this is going to be 0 0.2 and this is also going to be 0 0.2 so we have filled to the uh, uh, of the blank spaces here we are left with number of toys of the wooden so number of uh, toys of the wooden if you will see this is going to be let's say uh, this is x so it is going to be total number of toys is x plus 14 plus 14 that is 28 and then the probability we have the probability of a wooden toy probability of wooden is 0 0.6 and how do we calculate this one? This is like number of toys x over uh, the total. The total is x plus 28, right? And we have this is equal to 0 0.6. So we are just going to simplify this. Uh, as you multiply, cross multiply here. So this is going to be x into then equals to uh, x plus 28 times 0 0.6. So from here, uh, we will have this is 0 0.6 x plus 16.8. So then we have x minus 0 0.6 x equals to 16.8. Then uh, 1 minus 0 0.6, it is going to be 0 0.4 x equals to 16.8 divided by 0 0.4 divided by 0 0.4 both sides. This comes out to be 42, right? So this value of x is 42. Okay. Now number three, the table shows some information, uh, some information about two sequences. We have sequence A here and we have sequence B here. Right. Sequence A and sequence B. This is nth term and this uh, fifth term. Complete the table. So we're going to find out the fifth term. This that uh, we are just replacing n by uh, 5 here 4 times 5 so this is 60 60 minus 20 that is 40 so fifth term is 40 and this one is n squared n is now 5 squared minus 300 5 squared is 25 minus 300 this is going to be negative 275 So negative 275 so this is first part two marks then find a uh, b part is find the smallest positive number in the sequence b 
now nth term of the sequence is uh, sequence b is n squared minus 300 and it should be greater than 0 as we need a positive number right so it should be greater than 0 so from here n square is going to be greater than 300 and n is greater than uh, square root of 300 so n is greater than it is 17 point something 17.8 so greater than 17.8 that means uh, it should be that n should be equals to 18 right so that means 18th term is going to be positive so uh, 18th term we are going to have n squared minus uh, 300 that is the nth term 18 squared minus 300 this is 324 minus 300 which is 24 so 24 is going to be the first positive number uh, so as you can see there is no need to actually calculate the uh, number of terms so now i mean the actual terms you are just using the nth term to find out the solution right now number four find the greatest odd number that is factor of 140 and factor of 280 uh, 210 140 factors are 10 and 14 right then this is going to be 2 times 5 this is going to 7 times 2 so odd numbers are here 5 and 7 right so other side also let's see we have 10 times 21 this is 2 times 5 and this is 7 times 3 again we have 5 and 7 so that number is going to be 35 greatest odd number right now calculate cube root of 343 plus 40.90 you just directly uh, plug in the values in the calculator you are going to get this as 0 0.6 this is 0 0.6 and also this just put as it is in the calculator uh, remember to put brackets uh, power 1.25 and it is 10 as it is one mark question there is no need to show any kind of working here now we have another question you can see a nice diagram here uh, so uh, the diagram shows five kites that are congruent to try uh, kite a b c d so this a b c d and then we have one two three four five more kites so which are congruent to this one um, the kite is joined to the next kite along one side as you can see um, the angle dab is 40 and uh, dc is a straight line find the value of x we are looking for this value as this looks complicated but it's not that complicated as if you know the the concepts uh, so this is three marks question now as uh, all these kites are congruent so if this angle is 40 so this is also going to be 40 this is also 40 this is also 40 and this is also going to be 40 right and if this is a kite this angle is x and this is also going to be x right so now if we know this angle then we can find out now you see this dce is a straight line we are given this is a straight line so sum of all these angles should be 180 so how many are they they are 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so 180 is divided into 6 parts so uh, each angle is 30 degrees so this is 30 so that means this angle is 30 so now we have um, all the four angles here so we can find out the value of x now in a quadrilateral this one uh, this kite here so we have here x plus x that is 2x 2x plus 30 plus 40 this is equal to 360 right so 2x is equal to 360 minus 70 so which is 290 2x divide by 2 divide by 2 so x is equal to 145 this is our final answer right remember to write this one here 145 okay now number seven we have another diagram here uh, there is a semicircle and there is one triangle here uh, the diagram shows a shape made from triangle jkl you can see here 
the triangle is JKL this one here JKL uh, and the semicircle with diameter JL uh, JKL is an isosceles right angle triangle with JKJL equals to 12.8 as this is the radius so uh, diameter the radius is going to be 12.8 divided by 2 which is 6.4 centimeter because we will need the diameter now to calculate the area of the shape we need the area of the semicircle plus area of the triangle uh, so uh, area of the shape is equal to area of semicircle plus area of triangle jkl right so now let's find out area of semicircle a formula of area of semicircle this is equal to half times pi r squared plus area of triangle is half times base times height base and height both are same actually you can see here 12.8 and 12.8 uh, so this i'm going to write down half times pi 6.4 squared plus half 12.8 times 12.8 so this comes out to be 64.339 plus this is 81.92 so total is 146.3 uh, approximately 146 to the three significant figures so 146 centimeter squared right that's how you can find out the area now let's see what is next we have calculated the perimeter of this the shape perimeter of the shape for the perimeter of the shape let me uh, uh, tell you guys this one we need this one plus this length plus this that is all uh, lengths around the shape so this is the semicircle we can find out the circumference by using a uh, half of 2 pi r right half of 2 pi r is uh, pi r then uh, we need this jk and kl we don't have kl but as this is a right angle triangle we can use pythagoras theorem for that uh, so first of all we will find out kl uh, so KL is going to be KL is going to be square root of 12.8 uh, squared plus 12.8 squared so this is equals to square root of 327.68 so that gives us KL as equals to 18.1 centimeters right so now we have KL now we can find out the area of semicircle and this uh, uh, KL let me put it equation 1 now uh, uh, sorry not area perimeter of the shape perimeter of semicircle is half times 2 pi r right 2 pi is gone so we have pi times 6.4 which comes out to be 20.1 centimeters right now area of uh, sorry perimeter of the shape the shape that is given to us we are going to add area of the uh, semicircle which is 20.1 then we have this jk jk is 12.8 12.8 and uh, the one that we calculated here uh, which is uh, KL that is 18.1 so when you simplify this comes out to be 50.0 sorry 51 51 centimeters the total perimeter of the shape right now number eight there are first five terms in the sequence uh, find an expression for the nth term uh, so these are the five terms as you can see from first term we are getting by adding 7 here so a is 11 and common difference is 7 so we are looking for t and t n is a plus n minus 1 into t so a is 11 n minus 1 into 7 so this is 11 plus 7 n minus 7 
so 7n plus 4 7n plus 4 is the final answer right now number 9 the value of the car um, is 8000 now uh, each year the value of the car decreases so value of the car decreases exponentially uh, so that means uh, here by 25 so as you know that the value of investment we have the formula 1 minus when it is decreasing we are going to take uh, as uh, sorry n here as minus here uh, so it is 8000 into 1 minus r is 25 over 100 power 3 just plug in all these values and you are going to get here 3,375 dollars after uh, uh, decrease of 3 years by 25 percent. Now number 10, Amir invests 15, Amir invests 1,500, 1,500 in an account. The account pays compound interest of R percent per year. At the end of 8 years, the value of investment is this. Find the value of R. Now our principal amount here is dollar 1500 and the value of investment is 1656.73 dollars and uh, number of years is 8 and we are looking for value of r right so we will use the formula v1 plus r over 100 power n the number of year and we have this 1565.73 uh, equals to 1500 into 1 plus r r is we don't know uh, and n is 8 right so we will bring this side uh, 1500 will come over here divided by and then 1 plus r over 100 power 8 right so when you calculate this one this is 1.104 power this is 8 here if we take 8 through so this will become 1 over 8 and this 8 will get cancelled so we have 1 plus r over 100 right so when you do this one you can just put this uh, as uh, 0 0.125 right so this is uh, 1 minus r plus r over 100 so when you plug in this value you are going to get it 1.10144 bringing this one to this side minus one equals to r over 100 so when we write here so this is let me rewrite it so messy here 1.1012 sorry it's 1.01 let me rewrite this just just forget about this uh, so this comes out to be 1.01244 minus 1 right equals to r over 100 what's happening this is r over 100 right so from here r is equal to um, 0. 0.1244 times 100 so which gives us 1.244 so 1.24 percent is the value of r so that's it for this video guys i hope you guys understood everything i will eagerly wait for your comments in the comment section thank you so much guys kindly subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends see you in the next video be blessed guys